Hey everyone, Matt Thomas with Baird & Warner Real Estate, and this video is meant to serve as your north side market update, specifically focusing on April year over year. April is a very strong month for the city of Chicago, historically speaking. So we're gonna look at April of 2020, which was obviously impacted by stay at home orders and the coronavirus versus April of 2019, which was sort of when the market was taking off and performing very well. Let's start with the north side condo market and break down what's happening. First and foremost, appreciation year over year. Believe it or not, condo owners on the north side actually saw a little bit of appreciation. Not a lot, it's about flat. It's about 0.7% year over year. There weren't a lot of new listings for people to see. In fact, new listings are down year over year, just under 4%. And probably the most expected outcome of all of this is that contracts written for condos are down uh, just over 11% on the north side. That's to be expected. There's a lot of financial uncertainty right now. There's a uh, election looming. Um, there's just a lot happening in the world that are making people push pause on buying a home right now. So we're seeing that reflection in the contracts written. The result of this means that fewer homes are coming off market. Those that are for sale are staying on market longer. Condos right now are staying on market about 30% longer than they were this time last year. So if you're a seller and you're preparing to sell, you need to understand that your market time is probably longer than 30 to 60 days, right? It's single family homes, sale prices are down about 2.5% year over year, so not a drastic change, but certainly uh, we would like to see that improve moving forward. The number of new listings is down significantly, 13.6%. Um, and the homes that are going under contract is uh, down about 11%. In part, those could be feeding each other if sellers are seeing that fewer contracts are being written, especially in single family homes where you have families with kids and people are home right now during this time. Um, you know, fewer people are incentivized to sell during this period and new listings are down. Those people that are selling, though, their market time is about the same that it was last year. So um, it, the market expectations for your single family homes haven't changed all that much, truthfully. Um, when I take all of this kind of as a whole, first and foremost, I don't think doom and gloom is the story to take away from this. Will there be lasting impacts from this? Absolutely. And we'll discuss those when they come and we'll prepare for those as best we can. But by and large, the real estate market in Chicago for condos or for single family homes on the north side is still operating. Is it operating slower than we're used to or than we were expecting compared to last year? Definitely. But homes are still selling, buyers are still taking advantage of historically low interest rates, and sellers are still able to move their homes if they need to. I think the message here is if buying or selling a home was your goal in 2020, don't let this delay or this pause in the market scare you off from doing so. There's still plenty of opportunity to be successful. Stay healthy. Have a great day. I'd love to talk to you soon.